Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Brad and I'm sitting here with Kate, a senior engineer at Melances, a cloud computing consulting company based in New York. Hello everyone, we're here today to introduce Gape, a domain-specific language for the Google App Engine. So we need to learn a new language? Not exactly. Gape is a domain-specific language, by definition, a language of limited expressiveness. Gape targets the Java platform, so we're not talking about a new language. Java? I know there's some prejudice against Java. It's certainly a verbose language. Consider that not many languages offer such a wide range that they can run on small devices and support massive enterprise systems. We started with the Google App Engine because it is perhaps the oldest and most mature Java platform as a service on the market. However, the features of Gape make it easy to target other cloud platforms such as Beanstalk, CloudBees, OpenShift. Do we need to adopt a different approach? You mean in a terms of way of thinking? Yes, there's a couple of features that push you in a certain direction, so there are some thinking shifts you need to do when you design your application. Okay then, let's see Gape in action. Let's start with a common example. Look at this picture and tell me what you see. An apartment? Right, it's my apartment floor plan. This drawing highlights specific information. There's a kitchen, two bedrooms, doors, windows. Even if you're not an architect, you can understand a lot of things in this picture, as there is explicit information of its intent, like a place to live. Now let's take a look at another picture, and tell me again what you see. A web application. Yep, it's a sample application I did a couple of years ago. Even as a developer, from the top-level perspective, you can't tell what is the intent of the application. If the Uncle Bob Clean Code guidelines have been applied, when reading the source code you can figure out what the system is, but it can be cumbersome to understand what the system does. Yeah, I see your point. Now let me show you an application written in Gape. Gape is an object-oriented DSL. The objects are organized in modules which define the object's name space. When I say object-oriented, I mean a set of rules that affects how we think about things. Gape is based on Eek's text which provides a comfortable development environment integrated with Eclipse. Designing a software application is about exploring its architecture. Software designers are supposed to identify within the specific problem domain what are the candidates to become an object and relationships, and, in our opinion, more important, what is not an object and should be designed in a different way. Okay. Gabe allows to specify the target platform. As I mentioned before, this time the supported target platform is the Google App Engine. You can define the set of properties that belong to an object. Some are defined as virtual, which means they're a result of an algorithm, and then there are methods and interactions. What's the difference between a method and an interaction? Objects define methods as a very basic operation on the object, such as change status or increase balance. When you think about an interaction, you should think about objects participating in a use case. In the code example, you can see that the complete property is defined as read-only. It means you can't change the status of the object by directly writing the property. In other words, there's no set method. I'm not sure I got you. Okay, let's try looking at it this way. In the to-do object, we design the status changes to separate use cases, complete and incomplete. We declare two interactions to provide explicit information about the use cases in which the object is involved. Okay, I see. We wanted to also specify what methods of the object are involved in each interaction, and this is done by declaring the method and providing the interactions in which it participates. When you implement the interaction, the participating object will expose an interface made of a single change status method, enforcing the use of the design method in the use case implementation. I really like it. Great, let's move on. Clarity was a primary objective of GAPE as it impacts design and development. The easier it is to read something, the easier it is to find mistakes. The DSL includes explicit information about what code and objects belong to and participate to a use case, which make it useful to keep track of the system functionalities. This is the first thinking shift you need to do when designing an application with Gabe. Gabe does not introduce a new approach for domain modeling. You apply domain-driven design best practices. I see a property declared as a collection. Is it a relationship? Right. You can specify one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many relationships. Pretty standard practice. In real life, there are a lot of associations, and a great number are naturally bidirectional. Gate provides the link operator to deal with the bidirectional associations. Let me show you an example. In this example, we have a company with a set of products. 
The product object has a company property, indicating the company it belongs to. The link operator makes the association bidirectional, so when you add a product to the company collection, the company property is automatically updated on the product object. If you update the company property on the product object, the product is removed from the collection and a new one added. Very good! Let's talk about business rules. Application-specific business rules are encapsulated in the interactions. Additional rules can be specified using contracts. Contracts are meant to state assumptions that are required for a program to work correctly and can also be used to handle invalid input. Design by contract is about design and quality and advises that the software should define formal, precise, and verifiable interface specifications. A developer must provide the contract implementation, creating preconditions, postconditions, and invariants. I know design by contract. Design by contract also affects testing. It's good standard practice to write tests, but it does have some drawbacks. First, it's hard to write good tests. In our experience, they usually are not, which makes them ineffective or even useless. Second, in many cases the code written for testing is huge and the cost of maintenance becomes prohibitively large. Another objective of GAPE is trying to achieve is to optimize the number of tests required to ensure quality, taking advantage from the combination of design by contract and test-driven development. Just like nobody writes tests for the code generated by a compiler, except by a developer, it is also not necessary to write tests for the code automatically generated by GAPE. What is really important is to run tests against the custom code to verify correctness of contracts, methods, and interactions. How can I write custom implementation in GAPE? You can't do it in GAPE. You have to write your custom code in Java. GAPE doesn't have expression or statements? Nope. GAPE is not a general purpose language. It's a domain-specific language. There's always a danger for a DSL to evolve in a general purpose language. This is known as the ghetto language problem. Maybe you're familiar with it. Building and maintaining a general purpose language with conditional expressions, loops, means a lot of unnecessary work that could simply be taken from outside. As a domain-specific language, GAPE is a language of limited expressiveness, which works in combination with Java. It takes less than an hour to learn how many things you can do with GAPE, combined with a language you already know, instead of spending so much time to figure out how to express something you already know in a new language. Okay, but what about the model view controller pattern? It is a well-established architectural pattern, but I don't see any reference to view or controllers in the GAPE source code. GAPE provides a standard REST API that can be consumed by any client platform. For example, the implementation of the sample to-do application uses AngularJS and jQuery. We did it on purpose. AngularJS provides its own browser-side implementation of the MVC pattern, so you don't need one on the server side. The jQuery components programming model don't really need a controller at all. Are you still with me? Yes, I think so. Great. In the internal version, the GAPE DSL generates a set of AngularJS controllers and HTML fragments for Bootstrap, but we are working to support Zurb, Dart Polymore, Android in the near future. Awesome! I must admit I've always been skeptical about DSL stuff, but what I've seen makes sense to me. I look forward to hearing more about GAPE next time. Alright then. In the meantime, you can take a look at the to-do application and become familiar with the DSL, playing with the GAPE's anatomy. <laughs>